Hi, I'm Polly Carter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm expecting my groceries to be delivered and get those processed and put away. And, um, and then I have a special recipe I'd like to share with you. Part of fridge management is using up all your produce and making sure before you uh, get your new grocery order in that the refrigerator is clean and that you've used up or rotated what needs to be used. So I did have some beets that I've been meaning to use and I didn't get to that last week so I'm hoping to get to this today. I have a baby spinach, baby spring mix, remnant hearts for Caesar salad, some kale for smoothies, cilantro, organic basil, some different types of tomatoes. I have grape tomatoes. I just needed a couple of Roma tomatoes. And then I have some Campari. Uh, on the vine tomatoes. Sliced mushrooms to use right away for spinach and mushroom scramble and then these will last in the fridge much longer so I have the whole baby bellas. A couple of baby bok choy. Two bunches of asparagus. Great for roasting in the oven. Heads of broccoli. A variety of bell peppers. This one looks a little bit rough, but uh, I will be making some stuffed bell peppers, cucumbers for smoothies and salads, a couple of zucchini, scallions, green onions, uh, four sweet potatoes, six avocados, A couple of red onions, two bottles of lemon juice, I'm going through the lemon juice, two cans of kidney beans, four cans of cannellini, and four fire roasted diced tomatoes. Now these are just replacing what I have been using in my pantry, so I'm just restocking those. Spaghetti squash, and they had sour cream on sale, so I picked up three 16 ounce containers of sour cream, some cheese, some parmesan, pepper jack, very slugs of pepper jack on the stuffed bell peppers, some mozzarella and Mexican style blend, and then this is what I love to have for a snack once in a while is the Tillamook extra sharp red grapes, bananas for breakfast before we work out, a wonderful afternoon snack, honey crisp apples, six of those, three lemons, some watermelon, strawberries, and it's strawberry season here in Florida, so those are beautiful. Blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. These are for our late morning breakfasts. And when I can't cook eggs, I got some of these egg bites for Bruce to grab on the go. And he really enjoys them, so I got a variety of different flavors. And then some fresh eggs. Got some breakfast meats. Some thick cut bacon. Some pork sausage. And I'm planning to make a celebration dinner bone in rib ribeye roast. And that is nine and a half pounds. I can't remember what the sale price was. It was on sale and uh, it's nice because it's already cryovacked so I'm going to uh, put it in a plastic bag and I'll just pop it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it and then I'll take it out, thaw it out. 
And that is my haul for today. So I got all the groceries put away. I just want to process the grapes and of course the cilantro and then I'll start on the beets. I'm trying not to wash the berries up until I need them because they will last so much longer in the refrigerator without washing them and then wash them as you need them. to use some herbs, salt and pepper, extra virgin olive oil, I put the beets in the oven 425 for 30 minutes. Now I want to clean up the kitchen. Well, I pulled the beets out of the oven and I'm letting them cool just slightly. I got out from the fridge some goat cheese. Then I'm going to assemble some wraps with the warm beets and goat cheese. So let me show you how I do this for lunch. These wraps that I'm going to use, they're made with whole wheat and flax. They are high fiber spinach and herb. I'm going to use some hummus and then I have the spring mix that came in the uh, grocery order this morning and then some goat cheese. So now I'm putting the warm beets into a bowl and crumbling the cheese onto it. It's really a lovely combination with the warm uh, beets and the cheese that softens slightly. I smoothed out the hummus. After I made these I thought oh that'd be so fun to have uh, closed in both ends and then cut them at an angle for our presentation. But lunch is on the table. It's a beautiful vegetarian lunch and the wraps are really quite delicious. I'd like to get started on dinner and I'm planning to make a meatloaf. I am using butcher box uh, ground beef. I've always loved cooking the vegetables in with the meatloaf, uh, either serving it in the dish or transferring it all to a beautiful platter. But it's so nice having the vegetables cooked with the meat. The flavor is awesome, but then the presentation is lovely too. I'm dicing up some onions to put into the meat. I also use two eggs, a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, some salt, pepper, and about a tablespoon of garlic, a little bit of ketchup, and a cup of rolled oats. Then you mix it all together. I like to pat mine into two loaves in the pan. You can make one large one. Add your vegetables to the dish. I like to use Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. Give it a little color, extra added flavor. Then I cover it and bake it for one hour at 350. About 15 minutes before it's done cooking, I take the foil cover off to let it brown up a little bit. One thing I enjoy uh, making with the leftover meatloaf. The next day is to slice it in a thick cut in a hot skillet, usually a cast iron skillet. Put a little pat of butter and then fry it in that and put a nice crust on both sides. You can also smash the potatoes into a potato cake and, and fry that up with a meatloaf as well. For a leftover meatloaf, it's really quite delicious to serve it this way. On this day, I had about three loads of laundry to get done, so I just kept busy while the meatloaf was cooking away in the oven. I sure do appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. I'd sure appreciate it if you take a second 
second to subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I love you all and I will see you on the next video. Bye.